in part one, we set up our Linux environment and installed Ansible with Python 3. Now let's progress further and install our network devices into our hosts file and update our Ansible inventories. Let's take a look at Ansible TacTac version. From the output, we can see there is no configuration file. Dependent on installation, Ansible typically installs its configuration file at Etsy Ansible. In this example, Ansible hasn't created a configuration file. This gives us the perfect opportunity to set one up and understand how it works. Let's start, however, with getting our network devices under management. Within my home lab, I have a device called R1. It's a Cisco device. Let's ping its IP address, 192.168.1.93. The device pings by its IP, but not by its host name. Let's add the device to the hosts file so we can ping it. Save the file and test connectivity. Let's jump back into the same file and add the rest of my lab. Now let's create a directory called Ansible within Etsy. Change to that directory and touch a file called ansible.cfg. Let's now edit that newly created file. Let's create a group called Defaults. And within there, enter inventory equals Etsy Ansible hosts. Now in the same folder, let's touch a file called hosts and edit that file. Let's create a group called iOS and add R1 to it. Note the syntax to add this device into your inventory file. Now let's create a group called iOS colon vars. This will hold the variables for the iOS group. In here we need to specify the Ansible SSH password, the user, the network, the connection, the password and the auth password. Take note of the network OS, in our case it's iOS and the connection here is network CLI. Save the file. Now let's test connectivity to the newly added R1. Here's my output after editing the hosts file to include all of my lab. Also worth noting how the Ansible Network OS type has changed, dependent on whether it's an ESA, a Nexus, or an F5. I've also created some groups within my inventory. For example, Nexus houses a single router, which is R7, and the group lab holds all of my Cisco devices. Now let's test further connectivity. Let's ping R2. Let's ping the group called Nexus. We should see a single response from R7. Now let's ping the group called Lab. We should see a response back from every Cisco device listed. Jumping back to Ansible TacTac version, the config file is now present in the correct location. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing or drop me a like. Next time, we'll import Ansible collections and we'll run our first playbook to gather some basic network facts.